national anthem and started and headed into the
From the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Panola College, it is men's Region 14 basketball action here on a uh, Wednesday night as the uh, Panola Ponies play host to the Kilgore Rangers. Kilgore coming in here tonight, 18-6 on the season. They are 8-5 in conference play. Panola, after the uh, tough loss at Trinity Valley back on Saturday, the uh, Ponies are now 20-4 on the season. They are tied for first in Region 14 North Zone play at 11-2. and two. These two teams played back uh, on January 24th at Kilgore. Tough uh, uh, game there and a great win for uh, Panola at that time. 67-60 was the final at Masters Gym on that uh, particular night. But uh, looking forward to a good contest here this evening, no doubt. Uh, in Trinity Valley at 11-2 along with Panola at 11-2. Kilgore in third place in the north zone at eight and five. Paris seven and six. Navarro six and seven. Tyler six and seven. Bossier Parish at three and ten. That's how we go into play tonight as far as the north zone standings are concerned. Uh, Panola again coming in here tonight after that tough loss at Trinity Valley, 60 to 58, back on uh, Saturday. The uh, loss dropped the uh, ponies in the rankings. They had made it up to number eight in the nation. They are now back at the uh, as the number 14 team in the nation. That is all uh, big enough stuff. But uh, the big uh, biggest news of the night is the uh, loss of uh, Yafet Mundi for the uh, ponies. Uh, he tells me he's going to be out for at least two weeks with a uh, ligament issue in his thumb. Got it all uh, taped up and everything, so we will uh, see how that all uh, transpires here. We are about ready to get underway here with our uh, pregame activities tonight at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium.
All right, so we get all the uh, pregame festivities uh, taken care of here this evening. Again, uh, Panola at 20 and 4, Kilgore 18 and 6, 11 and 2 in conference play for Panola, 8 and 5 for uh, Kilgore. But uh, again, uh, these two teams played uh, a tough, tough contest at Masters Gym just a few weeks ago on the 24th of January, 67 60. And that was a come from behind victory for Panola as uh, Kilgore had that thing well in hand early in the second half. So, you know, these two teams uh, very uh, well matched against each other. And again, with the uh, injury to Yafit Mundi. We will see. That's going to put uh, Vianney Salachum on the spot that he's really going to have to step up. Salachum and Enel St. Bernard, they will both have to step up quite a bit. We jump in center, and we get this contest underway here tonight. Panola in the white uniforms. The uh, gold emeralds, green trim, shooting to the basket to my right here in this first half. Jonah Hinton has it outside. Now all the way cross court it goes to Lawrence. Lawrence along the baseline. His running jumper no good. Got his own rebound. Saved it to Salachum. And now the ball is going to be knocked out of his hands. Picked up by Kilgore. Rangers down the floor for the first time tonight. In the lane. Driving. Shot no good. Blocked. Willie Williams with the uh, attempt there. That was blocked. And then ends up going out of bounds off of Kilgore. Christian Henry, Jonah Hinton, Jaden Lawrence, Inel St. Bernard, Vianney Salachum in the starting five for head coach Joe Kuligoski in his first season as head coach, assistant last year. Here's Henry, baseline, right side, shot in and out, no good. On the rebound attempt, Salachum trying to get inside position, and he is going to be fouled by Kamai Crosby for Kilgore. Crosby. Peter McKee, Caleb Pouncey, Jamil Mutalib, and Willie Williams. The starting five for head coach Robert Byrd in his first season at Kilgore after coming over from Coastal Bend. Kilgore in a uh, zone defense. Lawrence shot from outside is up and good. It's a three-pointer for Panola. And the Ponies start out with a three-pointer from Lawrence and lead the contest 3-0. Here's Kilgore in the blue uniforms with the silver numerous, numerals, white trim. Shooting to the basket to my left here in this first half. And a foul is going to be called on Jaden Lawrence trying to get around the screen. Ends up uh, committing the foul there according to our official. Kilgore will throw it inbounds into the backcourt. That's where Crosby goes and tracks it down. Pernola in a man-to-man defense. Kilgore driving. Kick it back out to Crosby. Shot for three. No good. Lawrence up high for the rebound. And Pernola back down the floor. 18-12 to go here in this first half. Lawrence again with an outside shot. No good. Lawrence strikes down his rebound. Gets it to Henry. Back over to a wide open Hinton. And Jonah Hinton shot the three is up and good. So a good ball movement for Panola early in this contest. A couple of outside shots. One from Hinton, one from Lawrence. And Panola jumps out to a quick 6-0 lead with 17.58 to go here in this first half. Robert Bird calls for a timeout at the uh, Kilgore bench as we have been... Region 14 action tonight on the Padola College Pony Express YouTube site. As we go back to play, here's Kilgore bringing the ball down the floor. Williams here on the near side of the floor. Passes back out front. Jamil Mutalib passes over at far corner. Now back out front it comes to Peter McKee. Pass left corner in front of the Panola bench. 
Ends up in the hands of Williams. Has his shot blocked. But then, Vianney Salancham on his outlet pass. Ends up throwing it over the head of his teammate Hinton. And it ends up out of bounds over on the far side of the floor. So, Kilgore basketball. Kilgore drive and a block for Vianney Salancham. So against Salachum, he has got to step up big with the absence of Gafet Mundi, and he's got to stay out of foul trouble. So far, so good. Here is a shot from outside for Kilgore. It's a three-pointer for Peter McKee. Six-three are scored. Nothing but three-point shots so far in this game. Now here's Hinton driving right side, gets double teamed by Kilgore defenders. Pass goes in the lane to Salachum. Fall away jump shot, no good from about eight feet out. Rebound Kilgore, Rangers back down the floor. Moodley about front, passes over now to Pouncey. Pouncey, he will put up a shot, never got to the uh, rim. Salachum was able to jump up there and grab it midair. Padola back down the floor now, and it's a shot put up for the ponies, no good. Offensive rebound, second attempt, no good. But then, NL St. Bernard will get the rebound and put it up and in. 8-3, Panola lead. Here's Williams. Now around the perimeter, over to the far side of the floor for Kilgore. Now back around. It's going to be tipped up in the air by Panola. And NL St. Bernard got the uh, steal and then takes it back down the floor and puts the shot in and he is fouled on the play for Will, Willie Williams. So Williams picks up his first foul. Ten three, our score, and Nino St. Bernard at the free throw line to shoot. 57, 58% from the free throw line is Bernard. He misses the shot. Pernola only shoots 66% from the free throw line as a team. Kilgore, 71% as a team. There's Kilgore, mutually far side of the floor, and his shot is up and good for three. It's a three-point game tonight. Three-point shooters are having a fun time here. Hinton plays off a screen. Gets it back out to Hugo Mattioli who's in the ball game for the first time and Mattioli drives. Banks one in off the backboard. Twelve six. Panola lead. 15-15 to go here in this first half. Crosby gives it off. Now ball goes to Mutalib in the far corner. Back out front to McKee. McKee being guarded closely by Mattioli. Pass underneath the basket. Then going up for an attempted shot was Ike Wabi. But he is fouled. We're going to call the foul on uh, Mattioli. And we have a timeout on the floor with 14.58 to go here in this first half. Other games that are going on tonight in Region 14, in addition to this one, Lamar State is playing at Victoria, Jacksonville at Lee, Navarro at Tyler, Bossier Parish at Paris, and Coastal Bend is playing host to a blend tonight. Mentioned earlier the North Zone standings with Panola and Trinity Valley at 11-2. Kilgore 8 and 5, Paris 7 and 6, Navarro and Tyler 6 and 7, Bozier 3 and 10. In the south zone, you have Lee College at 11 and 2, Glenn 9 and 4, Angelina 7 and 6, Coastal Bend 5 and 8, Lamar State 4 and 9, Jacksonville 2 and 11, and Victoria at 1 and 12 in the south zone. All I can say, and I was talking with Chris Craddock from Gilmore College earlier, Region 14 tournament is just going to be nuts. It just has all the makings of being 
it's always a great tournament. For some reason, I get the feeling that this year is going to be uh, ridiculously great. At the free throw line, one shot good for Mutalib. Missed the second shot. Here is Panola, will give and go to Lawrence. Lawrence shot no good, Kilgore rebound. 12-7, Panola lead. Rangers bringing it down the floor. Williams will get it back out to Crosby at midcourt. McKee. Back around here on the near side to Mutalib. Now along the baseline it goes to Casey Udalisa. In the ball game for the first time. Lost control of it. Padola back down the floor with it. Mattioli around to Hinton at midcourt. DJ Wilson in the ball game now for the Ponies. Hinton drives left side. Goes up with a shot. Gets the shot and will draw contact from Kilgore. Crosby picks up the foul. That's going to be his second. Salachim checks back in. Lawrence and St. Bernard check out. James Jewell in the ballgame for the first time tonight for Panola as well. Jonah Hinton at the free throw line to shoot. 75% from the line is Hinton, and his shot is good. Fourteen minutes to go here in this first half. Here's McKee. Comes back near side of the floor, passes off to Williams, who in turn takes it all the way around to the far side. Now in the lane, shot is up, no good. Lots of contact underneath the basket, and I believe all we're going to end up getting is just an out-of-bounds play. Willie Williams, pretty good presence underneath the basket. Very strong linebacker type. As now McKee drives, and McKee will get the shot to go for him. 15-9, Panola lead. Monteoli, Yasema in the ballgame now. Wagard Yasema. Pass underneath, went to Salachim. He declined the shot, passed it back outside to D.J. Wilson, and his shot was no good. Now for Kilgore, driving Casey Odalisi. Blocked out of bounds off of Salachim. Inbounds pass to Williams. Now Mutalib, left open, takes the shot, and it is good. Second three-pointer for Jamil Mutalib. Mutalib. A lot of Houston area product on this uh, Kilgore team. Of course, that can come from the, the wide range. And a lot of schools down there. Shot from outside. No good for Tessema. Kilgore rebound. 15-12 our score. Kilgore with a chance to tie it up with another three here. McKee, far side of the floor. Now near side it goes. Udlisi in the lane. Shot blocked again by Salachim. And out of bounds it's going to be called. Off of Kilgore it'll be Panola basketball. Christian Henry will check back in for Panola. Jonah Hinton back in as well. So Hinton, Christian Henry, Vianney Salachim, DJ Wilson, and James Jewell on the floor. 
15-12, 12 minutes to go here. First half, shot from way outside for Hinton. Just off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Kilgore, Rangers back down the floor. McKee has it out front. Driving now, left side of the floor, passes off to Williams, who will take it all the way back around to the right side. Now, pass underneath. Jameer Turner with a good pass, but uh, his teammate wasn't ready for it underneath the basket. Timeout on the floor here with 11.39 to go in this first half. A Panola quick start has come back with a Kilgore evening things out a little bit. We've had no ties and no lead changes, but it's still close. Panola 15, Kilgore 12. Brings the ball inbounds as we go back to play. 11 and a half to go here in this first half. Here's Jonah Hinton out front. Christian Henry back to Hinton. Again, he'll let one fly from way outside. Shot no good, but there is Gianni Salanchum to put it right back up and in after he came off the rim. Salachum, 6'10 sophomore out of Cameroon. Again with the uh, injury to Yafet Mundi. Salachum is really going to have to play big. And so far tonight, he has done so. Seventeen twelve, 12 Panola lead. It's Christian Henry, Hinton. Kilgore will have to come out and guard him. They know he'll take that shot now from midcourt. In Kilgore in 2-3 zone. Here's Lawrence, top of the circle. Shot up and good for two for Jaden Lawrence. Here's Kilgore back down the floor. Backing up, taking the shot. No good, but an offensive rebound for Kilgore. Jamil Mutalib with the miss. I say offensive rebound. Apparently it was uh, Panola knocking it out of bounds, so it'll be Kilgore ball. There's Kilgore. Williams along the baseline left open enough that he had no choice but to take the shot and it goes off the side of the rim no good 950 in counting here in this first half here's Lawrence in the middle of the floor and Lawrence he drives the lane and puts up a shot so Lawrence 6'4 sophomore out of Bowling Green Kentucky he's playing a little bit bigger inside position here he gets a steal gets on the loose ball on the floor his teammates appreciate that but after all is said and done it's still going to be Kilgore basketball Noabi will throw the ball inbounds Here's Kilgore, McKee out front, drives far side of the floor, looking for a screen from Williams, gets it, driving the lane, shot blocked, 
Panola on the run, back down the floor, ends up going off of the foot of one of the uh, Panola players, ends up going out of bounds. It'll be Kilgore ball. 21-12, Panola lead. Kilgore had it to a 15-12 score. And Kilgore back down the floor. He's Mutalib at midcourt, gives it off to Dwobie. Back out front now, Thomas Hathaway in the ball game for the first time tonight. Driving, left side of the floor, nice tough shot for Mutalib. Puts it high off the glass with the right hand. Coming from the left side of the floor. Now driving the lane though, nicely done there for Padola. DJ Wilson with the basket. His first two points of the ball game. Now on the floor again is Lawrence. As Lawrence gets a big applause from his coach and his entire bench for diving on the floor. Twenty-three fourteen, Panola lead, Panola basketball. In El St. Bernard back in the contest now for the uh, ponies. Christian Henry has it, far side of the floor, drives, stops, backs up, and had some help in backing up. As Jameer Turner is pleading his case, but he will still have the foul called on him. Going to put uh, Christian Henry at the free throw line to shoot. Henry averaging 12 points a ball game, 70% from the line, and his first shot is up and good. Slodger will check in, and St. Bernard comes out. Ten point, Panola lead at 24-14. Next shot from Henry is up and good as well. Well, from a Panola standpoint, on one hand, you feel good about having an 11-point lead. On the other hand, knowing the history of these two schools and how they play each other, I'm not getting too excited just yet. Here's Panola with a half-court trap. Kilgore breaks it easily. Here's Turner off to Crosby. Back to Turner. Turner gets Salachim up in the air and then goes right around him. And is able to put the shot up and in. 7.50 first half, 25-16 Panola. Driving is Hinton. And Hinton had his shot blocked by Mutalib. Good defensive play. Out of bounds, though. It'll be Panola basketball after this timeout. 7.39 to go in this first half. Region 14 men's basketball action here tonight at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Panola College. Panola 25, Kilgore 16. As we go back to play, it'll be Panola basketball. Christian Henry throws it inbounds to Hinton. Hinton sees an opening down the lane and takes it. 
Kind of dribbling around back toward the middle of the floor. And all of a sudden, the middle of the lane opened up for him. And he took that in a hurry. Lays it up and in, 27-16. Crosby, far side of the floor. And the Williams. Williams will drive. Shot no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Kilgore. Second shot is blocked by Salachim. Here's Kilgore Turner at the free throw line. Passes down low to Williams. Williams shot. Blocked, but I think that was after he was fouled. Well, they're counting that as a uh, good shot, so apparently uh, the block from Gianni Salachin counted as a, as a goal 10. The foul. Well, Williams puts up the free throw. Foul was on Christian Henry, his first. Here's Jewel, or uh, Hinton, goodness, Hinton backs up as he has tried a couple of times earlier, didn't do it, that time he did, backed up and took the three and buried it, 30 to 19. Here's Crosby, off to Hathaway, off to Udalisi out at midcourt, might have been a little travel there, got away with that. Williams now for Kilgore. Driving the lane, trying to put up a little bit of a lob pass to Casey Udalisi. And um, missed the connection on that. Robert Burton calls for a timeout at the Kilgore bench. 6.17 to go here in this first half. It is Padola 13, Kilgore, uh, Padola 30, Kilgore 19. Region 14 men's basketball tonight on the Panola College Pony Express YouTube site. Padola basketball, Kilgore showing a full court trap for the first time tonight. Padola breaks it, gets it down the floor. Christian Henry drives, passes off. He'll alley-oop to NL St. Bernard. And St. Bernard with the slam dunk. In St. Bernard, he is a very, very active 6'5 freshman. Plays a lot bigger than 6'5". Now Williams, far side of the floor, being guarded by St. Bernard, backing him down and getting inside position and getting the shot to go. So Willie Williams took a while to get him going, but he's got five points now. Hidden. Henry, back around to Lawrence, right side of the floor, back out front it comes. Christian Henry, out to Jaden Lawrence. 5-10 to go here in this first half. Lawrence to Henry. Henry has to take a shot. It is no good. Pony's trying to get the rebound, but St. Bernard knocked it all the way out into the Panola band. We have 5-0-2 to go here in this first half. Panola. 32-21 lead. Kilgore far from done, I'm sure. Williams goes left corner on the baseline. McKee's shot is up and no good. Rebound off the rim. Comes down to Panola. Ponies back down the floor. Hinton out front will drive right side. High off the glass. Shot won't go, but he is fouled by McKee. And for Peter McKee, that'll be his first foul.
And it'll put uh, Jonah Hinton at the free throw line to shoot for the Ponies. First shot no good for Hinton. Taking his time, getting back to the uh, free throw line, and we'll uh, get the ball for his second shot. And second shot is up and good. Thirty-three twenty-one. Ball out of bounds, but I think uh, Salacha may have tra- picked up his first foul, and he has. As many uh, plays as he's been involved in underneath the basket, ironically enough, a play away from the basket is where he picks up his first foul. Mutalib, far side of the floor, gives it off to Williams at the free throw line. Lost his dribble, picked up by Mattioli coming the other way. Mattioli tried to squeeze a bounce pass through a couple of defenders, and that got taken away. Good idea, but uh, Kilgore closed on it. Now for Kilgore, shot up, no good on the miss there from Nwobi. Taken rebound by Salachum, and Henry brings it back down the floor. 3.40 to go here, first half. Christian Henry, awkward uh, landing on the uh, floor after the uh, layup attempt. 3.38 to go here in this first half. Thought there might have been a foul call there, but apparently not. 3.38 3.38 to go in the first half for each of 14 men's basketball action. At the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Panola College, Panola 33, Kilgore 21. inbounds as we go back to play. Here's Christian Henry at midcourt. Off to Hinton. And Hinton will hold up. Now dribbles around the defender. Goes to the basket. Has his shot blocked. Kilgore quickly back down the floor. Mm, Goodness. A slip there on the floor. And a foul is going to be charged to uh, Jaden Lawrence. Jamil Mutalib slipped as he was driving down the uh, baseline. That was one of those that looked uh, looked a little rough, but apparently everybody came out okay. Here's Kilgore. Lawrence picked up his second foul. Here's a shot from outside, partially blocked. Italy with the miss. Perdola back down the floor. Henry drives right side, pulls up, jump shot, no good. Offensive tip in, no good. Ball still loose on the floor, finally touched by Kilgore out of bounds. Nwabi, Ike Nwabi. 6'5 sophomore out of Beaumont. Came flying in, diving in. 
Trying to steal that one away for Kilgore and couldn't get to it. Ends up going out of bounds. 2.44 to go here, first half. Perdola with the ball. Hinton out front. Drives right side. Baseline fall away jumper, no good. Rebound, tipped around, finally taken by Williams for Kilgore. Gets it off to Peter McKee, and McKee will bring it back down the floor and hand off to Kamai Crosby. Williams, back out front it comes. Driving high off the uh, backboard, no good for Crosby. Collision underneath the uh, basket after the shot, and Enel St. Bernard is the one that's going to be charged with the foul. Joe Kuligoski uh, asking a few questions about that foul. It came long after the shot and the rebound for Panola. So Crosby at the free throw line to shoot. His first shot is up and good. Crosby, he is a uh, 72% free throw shooter. And again, Kilgore as a team shoots 71% from the free throw line. Crosby, 6'3 freshman out of Kansas. Gets uh, both free throws to go for him. It's a 10-point ball game at 33-23 with just under two minutes to go in the first half. DJ Wilson back in the ball game for Panola. Gives it off to Christian Henry. Henry to Tasama. Back to Henry again. Five seconds on the shot clock. Henry takes it from way outside. Shot no good. Tipped around and finally taken by Kilgore. Rangers back down the floor with 90 seconds to go in the first half. Crosby at midcourt. Passes off to Ulisi. Ulisa. I'll get it right by the time the game's over. cross court pass almost stolen away by Mattioli, but control for Kilgore. Williams in the lane, lost control of it, picked up by Mattioli. He'll pass it off to Christian Henry and would go back down the floor slowly with a minute two to go in the first half. Ten-point ball game. That's about what you expect. Whichever team has the lead, doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. As driving, Christian Henry, reverse layup for Christian Henry to make it 35-23. Getting back on January 24th, Kilgore had a 10-point lead early in the second half. Panola won the game. So it just happens with these two teams. Underneath the basket, shot up and good for Ike. Nwobi. Again, Padola takes a timeout with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Men's Ranger 14 basketball action. We're at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Padola College. It is Padola 35, Kilgore 25. Twenty-one seconds to go in the first half. Padola will bring the ball down the floor. Tasama gets it back out front to Christian Henry at midcourt. Shot clock is off. Ten seconds to go in the half. Henry drives right, passes off to Hinton. Hinton will back up, put up the shot, and no good. And that will do it for the first half of tonight's game. No ties, no lead changes. It has been all Panola in the first half of this one. And the Ponies lead it here at the half, 
35-25. Region 14 action here tonight at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium. And we'll uh, step aside here for a little bit for halftime, and we'll come back with the second half in just a little bit here. At the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Panola College, Panola at the half leads it over Kilgore by 10, 35-25. Thank you. 
35-25. Panola, that is our halftime score. Getting no ties, no lead changes in the first half of this one. Number six out, Vianney Salachum, five blocks in the first half of the ball game. From a uh, shooting situation, Panola, 43% from the field, 30% on three-point shots, 66% at the free throw line. Panola led in points in the first half. Jonah Hinton with 12, 7 for Jaden Lawrence, and 6 for NL St. Bernard. For Kilgore, Rangers have shot to 36% from the floor, 60% on their three point shots, 3 of 5. 80% from the free throw line. Leading scores for the Rangers in the first half, 8 for Jamil Mudalib. And five apiece for Willie Williams and Peter McKee. But again, Vianney Salachim, five block shots for him as he is uh, having to step it up in the absence of Yafet Bundy. His center compadre in the uh, Pernola lineup. Mundi out with a um, thumb injury as Jamil Mudlib starts us off here in the second half with a bank shot to make it 35-27. Ten points for these teams means nothing as many uh, great uh, games as Kilgore and Pernola has had over the years. Ten points can evaporate in a hurry. Ten points can propel you to a win. 35-27 now. Here's Mutalib. Back out front he comes to Crosby. And now the shot from way outside for Mutalib is no good. But he is fouled by Jaden Lawrence. And for Lawrence that will quickly be his third. And it's going to put uh, Mutalib at the free throw line to shoot three. So Kilgore can cut into this Panola lead in a hurry. As Mutalib hits the first shot. He is a 77% free throw shooter. Second shot on the way, up and good as well. He can make this five-point game with a free throw here. And he does with shot up and good. In for Panola, trying to bounce back after a tough two-point loss at Trinity Valley back on Saturday, 60-58. to Was the final of that one. Ponies had been like on a 14-game win streak until that one the other night. Kilgore would like to give them two in a row. Driving the basket. Panola. Mutalib's going to be uh, charged with a foul. His first. Not a shooting situation, so Panola will take the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket to my left. Christian Henry to throw it in. Lobs it in to Vianney Salachim. Salachim looking for some place to go with it. Will drive toward the baseline. Now turnaround jump shot for Salachim is no good. On the rebound attempt, a foul is going to be called on Pernola's DJ Wilson. So Wilson will pick up the foul, his first. And it'll be Kilgore basketball. Nice crowd on hand here tonight at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium for Region 14 action. Always a good group of Kilgore supporters make the short drive over to Carthage for the game. Always good to see that. We are just underway here in the second half. 35-30, Panola by five. Kilgore, Crosby with the basketball. Crosby drives and Crosby 
And his shot blocked out of bounds by Enel St. Bernard. So Kilgore will throw the ball inbounds. Williams back around the perimeter to Crosby out front. Five seconds on the shot clock. Far side of the floor. Shot no good. Air ball there for McKee. And Pernola will get it and bring it back down the floor. Here's Pernola. Hinton. Far side of the floor, lobs down there to Salachim on the baseline, working against Williams. Salachim goes to the basket. Williams got the block on the way up. But Padola was able to get the ball. It's going to be Kilgore basketball. Not real sure what the call was there in front of the... Put on the bench, it was kind of blocked off. But it is Kilgore basketball. 35-30. Pernola by five. Kilgore, new to lead, free throw line. Joe Kuligoski wanting a travel violation, doesn't get it. Crosby, right side of the floor, backs up, baseline shot up, and good for Kamai Crosby for Crosby. That is his first field goal of the game. And Pernola is going to call for a timeout as all of a sudden it is a three-point game. 17-17 to go here in this second half. Pernola yet to score a point in the second half. And Kilgore has come back to uh, make it a three-point game at 35-32. Men's Region 14 action here tonight on the uh, Pernola College Pony Express YouTube site. Basketball here right in front of me at the scorer's table. Getting ponies shooting to the basket to my left here in this second half. In El St. Bernard. Through a pass that he thought Jonah Hinton was going to make a move to the basket. Hinton stood there and um, ball was thrown away. So again, Pernola continues to be scoreless in the second half. Kilgore throwing it around the perimeter. Now Williams on the baseline, almost lost it, gets it back. Pass goes out to Crosby. Crosby will hand it off to Mutley, back to Crosby, three seconds, two seconds on the shot clock. Shot from way outside for Mutley, no good, but it ends up being a Padola foul on Jonah Hinton, and again, Kilgore is going to be at the free throw line shooting three. Well, so is as good mentally as Panola played in the first half. They have not uh, been that way so far in the second half. Crosby hits one, has two more coming. Crosby, 72% from the line, second shot up and good. 
And we may very well have our first tie of the game tonight as Crosby has one more shot coming. It is up and good. And we are knotted up for the first time tonight at 35-35. Kilgore on a 10-0 run to start this second half. Now driving for Padola. Shot no good for D.J. Wilson, but a foul is going to be called. Willie Williams picks up the foul for Kilgore, his second. And it'll put uh, D.J. Wilson at the free throw line to shoot for the Ponies. Wilson, 6'4", sophomore out of Schaumburg, Illinois. Averaging 73% from the line. So these uh, big percentage Ponies need to come through, and Wilson misses the first shot. Again, Panola scoreless in this second half. Next shot for Wilson is good, so the Ponies finally get a point in the second half and lead 36-35. So here's Kilgore with a chance to take their first lead in this game. Ball goes outside, shot from outside, is up and good for three for Casey Udalisa. And that is our first lead change. 38-36 Kilgore. Here's Christian Henry. Gets cut off along the baseline. Turns around, takes the shot. Shot no good. Rebound for Mutalib. Or check that. Uh, no. The Wobies. Williams. Back outside it goes. Now in the lane, and a foul is going to be called. Perdola Bench wanting a travel violation on Kilgore, and they don't get it. It's going to be a foul. Well, let's see. All right, Bianni Salachim gets called for the foul, his second. We have a timeout on the floor. A rough start here for Perdola in the second half. Ponies have got to kind of get back in rhythm and get that uh, offense going again. Kilgore has erased a 10-point deficit and taken a two-point lead, Back to play, Kilgore with a lob play on the inbounds pass. It backfires on him. Panola back down the floor. Christian Henry drives, cut off, gets it to Mattioli. Now back out to Hinton. Hinton gets double teamed. Enel St. Bernard left open in the lane. Fingertip roll for St. Bernard. He has eight points in the ball game, and we are knotted up at 38-38. Kilgore way outside shot. No good this time for Udalosi. Bernard with the rebound. Tanola, Christian Henry driving in the lane. Shot won't go, but then there's St. Bernard to get the offensive rebound and put it right back up and in. And Panola, when Panola runs, they do well. I mean, they, they do well in some set plays and some three-point shots and that sort of thing, but when they're running up and down the floor, that really uh, is kind of what they like to do. 
But Williams puts up a shot for Kilgore. That's good. And we are tied for the third time now at 40 apiece. Christian Henry, he is uh, shot is hot too hard off the backboard. Kilgore rebound. Rangers back down the floor. Ball is going to be taken right out of the hands of uh, Mutalib by uh, Hugo Montioli. And then Casey Udalisa picks up a foul back down here at the other end of the floor. Tied at 40 apiece. We had no ties, no lead changes in the first half. Second half has been another story. Tied at 35, 38, and 40. Panola led 35, 25 at halftime. So Kilgore came out blazing out of the dressing room at halftime. Shot from Hinton outside, no good. 40-40. Kilgore at midcourt. Crosby has the ball. Drives right side of the floor. Trying to squeeze a bounce pass. That is going to be intercepted by Montioli. Back down the floor. Saved from going out of bounds by Jaden Lawrence. Now, here's Panola. Near side of the floor. Driving down the baseline. D.J. Wilson saw an opening down the baseline, and he got there before the Kilgore player did. And the slam dunk puts Panola back up 42-40. Kilgore basketball, 12.50 to go here, second half. Williams, right side baseline, spins in the lane, shot blocked by St. Bernard. Mattioli back down the floor, passes out to Lawrence. Lawrence had an opening to the basket and missed the layup. But Panola hangs on to the ball, shot from outside for Mattioli is no good. Would have been a big make for Panola if they could have got it, but now they're going to have to play defense again. 42-40, Panola by two, 12-20 to go, second half. Driving for Kilgore. Brutalib shot up and good. Tied at 42. Now driving down the lane is Hinton. Lost control of the ball, but apparently he's going to have some help in doing that. Udalisi will pick up a foul for Kilgore. That's going to be his second, uh, do you believe. And we have a timeout on the floor with 11.53 to go here in this second half. Knotted up at 42 apiece. Reach of 14 men's basketball action tonight with Panola and Kilgore at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium at Panola College. Basketball as we go back to play, but the inbound pass is stolen away by Kilgore. Rangers bring it back down the floor, shooting to the basket to my right. Crosby here at midcourt gets it over here on the right side of the floor to Turner. Now back around to Crosby. Top of the floor to Pouncey. Now here is Turner in the lane. Shot no good. And now they're going to call another foul, this time on uh, NL St. Bernard, his second. 
to put uh, McKee at the free throw. Nope, check that. Uh, Jameer Turner at the free throw line to shoot. Turner, he's only a 61% free throw shooter. In for Kilgore as a team, 71% from the line. Come, uh, come read your 14 tournament time. That will help them out immensely, I would think. I think win some ball games at the free throw line. Now, here's a shot put up from the far corner. DJ Wilson for three. So Wilson off the bench tonight supplying some much needed offense. 45-43, Panola. Now here's Kilgore with the ball. Crosby at midcourt. Passes right corner. Shot on the way. And a high arcing shot for three from McKee is up and good. Third lead change as Kilgore takes the lead by one, 46-45. Foul is going to be on Caleb Pouncey for Kilgore. It's going to be his first. I think Pouncey was guarding Jonah Hinton, I believe that was, and they got kind of got their legs caught, and Pouncey ended up dragging him. <laughs> more more bizarre fouls you'll see, but it was what it was. Put all the basketball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Inbounds pass, comes out to midcourt to Hinton. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Hinton, bounce pass down low to St. Bernard, had the ball ripped out of his hands. Kilgore, back down the floor, leading 46-45. Ten and a half, and counting here in the second half. Good lead. Passes off to McKee. McKee. Back out to Mutalib, shot for three is up and good for Jamil Mutalib. Six six sophomore out of the Houston area. Puts Kilgore up by four, 49-45. Here's Mattioli. Now Hinton at midcourt. Hinton stops, shot, no good, but there for the offensive rebound. And the putback is Jaden Lawrence. Big basket for Perdola as Hinton has kind of gone cold from the outside the three-point line. Two-point game at 49-47, Kilgore. Turner off to McKee. Back to Mutalib. Italy will drive down the lane, try to slam dunk it, and missed it. Hit the back of the iron. Bounced up high in the air, and Panola back down the floor. Ball got away from Jaden Lawrence. Picked up by Kilgore back down the floor. Ball knocked away by Panola. In El St. Bernard trying to save it from going out of bounds right in front of the Kilgore bench. End-to-end -end action. Both teams had chances to score, and neither one did. Just under nine minutes to go here, second half. 8.59 to be exact. Kilgore 49, Panola 47. Kilgore basketball right in front of their own bench. Here's a shot from outside. It is no good. Ball ends up going out of bounds. And official there on the spot says it's out of bounds off of Panola. Salachin was the only Panola player there, surrounded by about three Kilgore players. So Kilgore basketball, inbounds pass to Williams. Now back out front to Crosby. Crosby shot from way outside, no good. Kilgore offensive rebound. For Kilgore, McKee, back to uh, Turner, and Turner gets a turnaround jumper to go around the rim a time or two and go down. 
51-47, Kilgore lead. Christian Henry at midcourt to Lawrence. Lawrence drives left side, shot no good, but he will draw the contact and the foul on uh, Caleb Pouncey. So Pouncey will pick up the foul, his second. It'll put uh, Jaden Lawrence at the free throw line to shoot for Panola. First shot for Lawrence is up and good. Ten points in the ball game now for Lawrence. Has one more shot coming. Second shot is off the front of the rim. No good. Three point Kilgore lead. 51-48. Eight minutes to go here in the second half. Kilgore so far kind of returning the favor of what... Uh, Panola did back on January 24th when Kilgore had the 10-point lead and lost. Here tonight, Panola had the 10-point lead, and Kilgore has come back to take the lead. Shot from outside was after the uh, shot clock went off. Panola rebound back down the floor. Mattioli out front to Henry. Henry drifts to his right. Passes off to Battioli. Kilgore in a uh, man-to-man defense. Here's Henry. Henry at the free throw line. Slips and falls. But able to get a pass away to Lawrence. Lawrence now with a shot as the shot clock was about to expire. Never got there. Kilgore back down the floor. Williams cut off on the baseline. His pass tipped up in the air. Taken by Battioli. 51-48, Kilgore lead. Panola basketball. Under seven to go here now, second half. Here's Henry in the lane. Free throw line, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Kilgore. Ponies uh, just seem a little out of sync as far as their uh, offense is concerned. Here's Kilgore, baseline, ball taken away, and then Kilgore gets it right back. Panola stripped it away, had it, ended up right back in the hands of a Kilgore player laying on the floor. It was Jameer Turner, but the alternating possessions, I believe, is going to give it to Panola's way. 51-48 our score. Kilgore leads. We have 6.24 to go here in this second half. Men's Region 14 basketball action here tonight on the Padola College Pony Express YouTube site. We go back to play. Here is Pernola with the basketball. Left corner of the floor. St. Bernard has it. Back out front it goes to 
Christian Henry, and Henry lost control of it out of bounds. Ends up being... Kilgore basketball as we go back down the floor. Kilgore shooting to the basket to my left, or to my right. Here's uh, Williams out front. Williams over on the far side it goes to Crosby. Williams back in the lane, and Williams gets a tough shot to go for him. 53-48. Kilgore lead now. Here's Panola back down the floor. Jonah Hinton has it out at midcourt. Pass off to Enel St. Bernard. Right in front of the Panola bench is going to be a Panola turnover, I do believe. And Joe Kuligoski calls for a timeout. Ponies in uh, jeopardy of losing their second straight. Kilgore trying to make sure that that's what happens. Rangers lead it 53-48. We have 513 to go here in the second half for Region 14 action tonight on the Padola College Pony Express YouTube site. Crosby brings it down the floor for Kilgore. Williams now left open far side of the floor down along the baseline. Mudalib trying to get a pass to a teammate. Ends up going out of bounds. Officials say out of bounds off of Panola. It'll remain Kilgore basketball. Just under five minutes to go here, second half. Crosby out of midcourt. Now Williams. As Kilgore trying to kind of slow down their offense a little bit, be a little more deliberate, going to the basket. Shot was blocked by Inel St. Bernard. Panola back down the floor. Here's Hinton. Back out to Christian Henry. Now Mattioli here on the near side. Hinton back to the far side. Hinton gets cut off, gets it back to Christian Henry. Henry top of the circle, shot on the way, in and out, won't go. Ponies have just picked a terrible time to go cold on the outside shots. But underneath, away from all of that, a foul was called on Caleb Pouncey, and that is his third. So it's going to put uh, NL St. Bernard at the free throw line to shoot for the Ponies. 58% from the line. High arching shot that um, Sam Bernard missed that. Hey, 53-48. Coming up on four minutes to go here. Kilgore lead, Kilgore ball. Middle Eve out front, Middle Eve drives the lane as he goes up for a shot. Shot is blocked out of bounds, but a foul is called. Hugo Mattioli will pick up the foul, his second. And we have another timeout on the floor here. Four minutes to go in this second half. Region 14 men's basketball action here tonight, and it is Kilgore. After trailing by 10 at the half, Rangers have come back, and they take the lead, have the lead now, 53-48 with exactly four minutes to go.
in the other games going on tonight in Region 14. Lamar State at Victoria. Jacksonville at Lee. Navarro at Tyler. Bossier Parish at Paris. And Blinn at Coastal Bend. Those are the other games that are taking place uh, tonight here. You have uh, Jamil Mudlieb at the free throw line to shoot. First shot is up and good. Second shot up and good as well. Well, again, the ability for Kilgore at the free throw line has certainly helped them out tonight. And again, I think that's going to help them immensely come tournament time. You don't you don't want to get Kilgore in a game where they're at the free throw line a lot. Here, ball is taken away by the Rangers, 55-48. For Panola, only 13 points in this entire second half. Baseline shot for Kilgore, no good. Rebound tipped around, finally pulled down by Mattioli. Ahead to Hinton. Hinton will drive and try to pass it off. Ends up uh, being knocked out of bounds by Kilgore. It'll still be Panola basketball. Ponies average 80 points a ball game. Kilgore averages 84 points a game. Obviously, we're a long way away from that. As here's a shot from outside for Mattioli, no good. And Panola has gone very cold from the outside shot here in the second half. 55-48. Kilgore ball. Kilgore trying to run some clock, but then also look for a decent shot. And they get that decent shot from outside. Peter McKee, three-pointer. 11 in the ballgame for McKee, and it's a 10-point game. Knew it was going to be about a 10-point game one way or the other. Panola had that 10-point lead at halftime. Kilgore has a 10-point lead now. Yeah, the ponies without services of Yafed Mundi. And, and, and of all things, for the Mundi, the 6'7 sophomore out of Paris, France, it all comes down to a thumb. He's got ligament issues and a thumb after the Trinity Valley game. He tells me he's going to be out two weeks. That's, um, that's, a, that's a tough stretch for two weeks. Especially when you're trying to position yourself and seeding for the upcoming tournament and then get ready to play in the upcoming tournament. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a tough two weeks to be without somebody of his uh, talent and abilities underneath the basket. 10-point Kilgore lead, 58-48. here and a shot from way outside for Wago Tsema. That is off target. And it's going to be Kilgore ball. court line two sixteen to go here in the second half Padola throw the ball inbounds to Sema to uh, Jaden Lawrence Mattioli behind the screen shot for three no good rebound back up and in for Enel St. Bernard Enel 
Again for Panola, only 15 points scored in this second half. Kilgore basketball. Williams out front. Gives it off and a travel called on mid-lead before he can make a move to the basket. We have a minute 40 to go here in the second half. Eight-point ball game. I mean, Panola can cut into it, but uh, they got to come up with some big baskets here. Something they have not done, obviously, only scoring 15 points in the second half. They have gone big time cold from outside and inside for that matter. Fell is called on Peter McKee. For Kilgore, his second. It will put Jonah Hinton at the free throw line to shoot. Hinton has hit a couple of free throws tonight. Panola, two, four. Panola as a team has only hit six free throws tonight. Now make it seven. Kilgore, on the other hand. Rangers have hit 13 free throws tonight. Next shot for Hinton is up and good. Makes it a 58-52 ball game. Williams throws it inbounds. Get Panola with a full court man-to-man trap. And at midcourt, a foul is going to be called on Mattioli. So Mattioli picks up the foul. That's going to put Kilgore at the free throw line to shoot a one and one for Midlieb. Be a big miss if Padola can get that. Be a big uh, two points if Kilgore can get it. And Midlieb calmly sinks his seventh free throw of the game. Has one more shot coming. And the second shot from Mutalib is up and good. Eight point lead once again for Kilgore. It's 60 to 52. Now here's Hinton outside. Shot up and good for three. So maybe Jonah Hinton has got that three point stroke back. At least he did there. Now Kilgore in the corner. Foul is going to be called on Ninel St. Bernard. Not even sure St. Bernard was near the play. He was in the corner. But that's going to put Kilgore back at the free throw line to shoot. And again, Kilgore, I, I can't stress it enough. 71% shooting at the line as a team. That's uh, you're, you're, This is tailor-made for them to close out the game. But Crosby missed the front end of the one-and-one. One. Minute five to go here in the second half. Ponies need some more points, and they need them fast. And here's a shot for Hinton. Two-pointer is good. 60 to 57. Kilgore on the inbounds pass. Padola with the pressure in the backcourt. Williams trying to bring it down the floor. Gets it to Crosby. 47 seconds to go here. Crosby being guarded by Mattioli and the whistle blows. And Mattioli takes a deep breath because he knew he was playing pretty close defense. But it was Robert Byrd that calls for a timeout at the Kilgore bench. Rangers going to have 15 seconds on the shot clock. They lead by three with 42 seconds remaining in regulation.
All right, so Kilgore basketball. They'll throw it in the back court, and McKee will bring it down the floor. 60 to 57, Kilgore by three. Here's Williams, right side of the floor. Williams drives, shot no good, rebound. Finally taken by Panola, as both teams had their hands on it several times in that exchange. It's going to be Panola basketball. Well, let's see, there was a foul called on Kamai Crosby for Kilgore, his third. And so uh, instead of Panola shooting a three-pointer to tie, potentially, they're going to be at the free-throw line to shoot, one and one. So Jaden Lawrence at the free-throw line to shoot, so maybe that uh, bodes well from a Kilgore standpoint. We'll see. 57% 57% from the line for Lawrence. First shot is up and good. Sixty to fifty-eight. Exact same score that Panola lost to. At Trinity Valley on Saturday. Second shot, no good. Rebound Kilgore. Kilgore in the corner and the Rangers. Almost lost it out of bounds, but it's going to be a foul called on Jaden Lawrence in the corner. His fourth right in front of the Panola bench. A little out of uh, picture there. But with 21 seconds remaining. Puts Willie Williams at the free throw line to shoot. He's a 60% free throw shooter. So of all the free throw shooters that Kilgore has, Williams is not their best. But he hits the first one. (laughs) And hit it pretty calmly, too. Back to a three-point game. This one here would be huge. 21 seconds remaining here in the second half. Rubber Bird wanting some of his players to get away from the free throw lane area. As Williams has one more shot coming. Right-hander shot is no good. Panola rebound, then knocked up in the air, and Kilgore got it right back. Panola had the rebound and lost it. Wow. It's hard to imagine that the game comes down to that, but it could very well have come down to that. Williams missed the second free throw. Panola had a rebound and lost it. And on top of that, D.J. Wilson picks up a foul. So now it puts uh, Casey Udalisa at the free throw line to shoot. His first shot was no good. Has one more coming here. He makes this. And he doesn't. And again, Panola had the rebound. Almost lost it. But now here come the uh, ponies down the floor. Here's Jonah Hinton at midcourt. Seven seconds. Mattioli with a shot. And Mattioli's shot goes in. And they're waving it off. Mattioli shot banked in from right over there on the sideline in front of the baseball and basketball teams, the women's basketball team. And what are they saying? Mattioli was out of bounds? Four seconds to go in the second half, and we're not getting a very good explanation as to what transpired. Mattioli was being pushed toward the sideline. He threw up a prayer of a shot, banked it in. It would have been a three-pointer to Tyus. And they waved it off. Only thing I can think of would be that they ruled him stepping out of bounds. It's going to be Kilgore basketball with four seconds to go. Rangers will throw it in bounds, and they just throw it the length of the floor, and Panola lets it go, which was very smart. And so now it's going to be Panola basketball. 
I believe, in the front court. Padola will get to take it out of bounds right where Kilgore had taken it out of bounds. Wow. This thing is going to come right down to the final seconds. Kilgore 61, Panola 58. Four seconds to go. It'll be Panola basketball. Ranger 14 men's basketball action here tonight at the Arthur Johnson Gymnasium. Perdola had a 35-25 lead at halftime. Kilgore leads it right now, 61-58, four seconds to go. Perdola inbounds in the front court. Inbounds pass goes to NL St. Bernard. And for St. Bernard, he is fouled immediately. Our play on Kilgore's part. Willie Williams picks up his third. He's going to put St. Bernard at the free throw line to shoot. And with 2.8 seconds, he really needs to make one and then miss one and hope they get a rebound. And St. Bernard's first shot, no good. So now he really has to make this one. One shot for NL St. Bernard. 6'5 freshman out of Grenada. Second shot is good. All right, so St. Bernard's free throw is good. Kilgore looking to throw the ball inbounds. They do, and they'll be fouled immediately. So Casey Udalisa will be at the free throw line to shoot for Kilgore with 1.9 seconds remaining. Well, for the uh, ponies. Again, the number 14th ranked team in the nation on the verge, unless they can have a, a supersized miracle here tonight. On the verge of losing two in a row. Lost at Athens 60-58 to to Trinity Valley on Saturday. Trail here 61-59. 1.9 seconds remaining. Really not much of a opportunity for Panola to get the ball down the floor and even have a decent shot. Udalisi at the free throw line misses the free throw. Well, I talked about how good Kilgore is at the free throw line and how that's going to win you some ball games. <laughs> they got cold at the wrong time. Udalisi has one more shot coming and this one is no good either. Panola with the rebound. Mattioli lets it fly. Hits the Raptors at the ceiling. And 61-59 Kilgore is how we are going to finish this thing out here tonight. Well, that, uh, that was quite a contest between these two. And again, uh, you know, Panola had already come from behind at Kilgore back in January and won by seven. Here tonight, Kilgore returns the favor and gets the win by uh, two over the uh, Ponies. 61-59 ends up being our final score. So Kilgore will go to 19-6 and six on the season. They will go to 8-9-5 um, and uh, or nine and five in Region 14 play. Panola 20-5 on the season now and 11-3. And in a region 14 play. I know uh, 
First Credit will have some final tallied results for me here in a minute, but I'll uh, bring up some of my unofficial stuff that I have. Four points, uh, two points for Mattioli, four for Christian Henry. 19 unofficially for Jonah Hinton. 11 for Jaden Lawrence. 8 for DJ Wilson. 13 for Enel St. Bernard. Only two points tonight for Vianney Salachim, but his defense was superb. I uh, can't argue with that. So he had, uh, he had five blocks there in the first half alone. For Kilgore, Jameer Turner with five points. Seven for Kamai Crosby. Eleven for Peter Mackey. Three for KD, uh, Casey uh, Udalisa. Twenty-three in the ball game for Jamil Mutalib. Two for Ike Nwabi. And Willie Williams ends up with um, ten in the contest. Some of those uh, final stats that we end up getting uh, had the five lead changes, uh, four ties in the contest, 35, 38, 40, and 42 apiece, all of that in the second half. From a uh, Kilgore standpoint, as the uh, winners here tonight, they shot 41% from the floor, 53% on the three-point shots, and 66% from the free-throw line. Perdola. 39% 39% from the floor, 25% free on the uh, three-point shots, and 62% from the free throw line. And again, for um, for Perdola, uh, had a 35-25 halftime lead there for a long stretch. Uh, Perdola had only scored like 10, 15 points in the entire second half. Uh, they were able to pick up the uh, pace there towards the end of the game, but... Uh, but there, at one point in time, it was uh, they they had 50 points. They'd only scored 15 in the entire second half. So it was kind of a rough uh, second half for the uh, ponies in this one. And um, after all is said and done, the smoke clears. It is uh, Kilgore that will walk off the court here tonight with the hard-fought two-point victory, 61-59, our final score. Next up for the uh, ponies, they are playing at Navarro on Saturday. And then at Bossier Parish next Wednesday. So next home game for the Ponies will be on Saturday the 24th when they uh, play host to Paris. That will be in a 4 o'clock contest on uh, that Saturday. Uh, Panola Baseball on Friday has a, a doubleheader against uh, Cali uh, Community College, Cali County Community College out of Kansas, uh, making the trip down here to Jim Reeves Memorial Field. A uh, 1 o'clock start, if I'm not mistaken, on the uh, baseball games on Friday afternoon. And we'll have those for you here on the Panola College Pony Express YouTube site. Uh, exciting ball games, it always is, between Panola and Kilgore. And this time it was uh, Kilgore racing the 10-point deficit, coming back and getting the victory here tonight over uh, Panola. 61-59, our final score. Appreciate you joining us here tonight on the uh, Panola College Pony Express YouTube site.